Hi friends, today we play as the true powerhouse of the world. And of course, I don't speak of any of these guys. I speak of Roach King. Our country name, Roach King. Our leader, Roach King. Our ruling party, the Roach Authority. Unfortunately, it appears that the king can die. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. And notably, as divisions, we have Roach Patrols and Roach Patrols. Italians, and there's a Roach 3D model. Very important. I guess we'll start training some more Roach battalions and we'll make Roaches with our military factories and some anti-tank rifles. So our neighbors include this weird kingdom in the north. There's a Republic, the Republic of the Three Rivers, the Old Believers, Church of the Silo, Two Peoples, Vault 37, which does have its own unique focus tree, and the Riding Mountain Musketeers, a formidable foe, I'm sure. None of those will withstand, however, our army of roaches, and the Roach to Victory. It's very cute, he's riding a roach, as you can observe, but as this focus description states, our land is plagued by water shortages, that is our main problem right now. Ah uh, yes, the Roach King does not have the highest intelligence in the wasteland, wow, that is very rude. I think that we are very intelligent. No one else has the power of the roaches on their side. But alas, we do only have two research slots, which for this mod is even worse than having two research slots at vanilla due to the magnitude of stuff you need a research for. So yes, luckily we got our third research slot and we will use that to research electronics to increase our research speed. And we will do leading Grafton and then once we do this focus, we can do a water wells focus to get more water and then do all the rest of the focuses here and then start fighting the vault. Wait, also there's this country here just named Bismarck. I think this is a Hoi 4 reference. Wait, and the Sisters of Steel with a full focus tree? Oh, perfect. We'll have to play as them next. The Dead Line? This is like a mini metro mod inside of Old World Blue. Oh, perfect. And our generals are roaches. <laughs> Um, we'll make Roach James Houston our, our field marshal. We also formed the Roach Bureau of Investigations and we will send a spy down to Fort Yates to see what's going on in the vault that we're going to be at war with soon. To lead a roach, you must feel the roach. Not physically, but mentally. Yeah, we have enough political power now though that we can go from wasteland economy, civilian economy, and vanilla to well-equipped arms. Army, which is good. And we have some political power left over. I guess we can get a army advisor. These are all kind of bad though, except the raider recruiter, which is very overpowered. Though maybe he's not too overpowered because all of our conscription laws are pretty bad. One rad roach has shined above the rest. This roach appears to be an alpha among the roaches. All roaches in its vicinity have begun following it in a similar fashion to how they follow the roach king himself. The roach king has dubbed him Sergeant Roach. Yes, Sergeant Roach. Very powerful. Alpha male. Charismatic. Intelligent. A rad apprentice. And a rad master. A legendary leader who we will promote as soon as we have 40 command power. So we're, we're not stronger than the vault, but the vault only has three divisions. So I think we should be able to micro our rad roaches around the robots and defeat them just because they only have three divisions. If they had more than three divisions, they would probably win. But this is a very convenient situation for us. Like now they have two divisions. Oh, Okay, well, and it's over already. That was um, pretty easy. We probably didn't even have to fight those divisions. We could have just walked around them. But no matter, we got some army experience, kind of. And now we can do the encroaching on their turf focus to get 
a core on Grand Forks. And now it's time we strike at the Old Believers. They have quite a few civilian and military factories, which will be very useful for our cause. I'm sure there are plenty of roaches up there too to join our ranks. And with Sergeant Roach leading the armies, we should be successful despite them having a slightly larger military than us. It looks like we outnumber them just because all their divisions aren't on the front line, but we really do have the weak army. Now we're getting pushed back a bit, but I think we should be able to stabilize. I hope so. Yeah, we kind of broke through in the north, though we don't have enough divisions to hold the front line, but this is equally as bad for them as it is for us, so I think things are fair. Okay, and this should finally be done with these divisions encircled. And now they should capitulate soon. They will fall to the roaches. We can move on to the church of the silo and recruit Sister Roach once we capitulate them. I hope this isn't as hard as the last war. I doubt it. They have no divisions on their capital, so that's a good sign. This might end in a matter of days. Okay, and they still have enough victory points to survive, unfortunately, so it isn't going to end instantly, but I doubt this will go on for very long. Okay, yeah, not too difficult. We did lose a division though, so we have to cry a little for our roach brethren who fell. But I'm sure more roaches will rise to fight for the cause. Yes, perfect, the leader of the country we just defeated is now Sister Roach, our new unit commander, maybe? I guess she's better, kind of, than our current one, so we can switch to her. Wait, I've never seen this before. We got a Gek. This will transform a wasteland into some sort of paradise. Wait, this is crazy. We get two free factories, eight building slots, and eight water. We need to find more of these things in our scavenging program. And here we go, one more battle. Well, two more battles, at least that I can see in our focus tree. There might be more stuff though later on. We'll have to figure out for sure. Should be easy enough to win this one. Our roaches are everywhere. They cannot stop. Us. I would just cry if I saw all these giant roaches encroaching upon my civilization. And now we move to the south to attack this creepy fellow, the Masquerade. Well, we'll end the, the Masquerade nonetheless. They have a decent army, but they don't have quite enough divisions to man their entire front line, so their uh, efforts at survival are futile. Okay, and and things are nice. We expanded a bit to the west and we're now taxing all of our subjects. They realize that they cannot deal with us and that they must submit. So we'll make a lot of money in the north through taxes and continue raising up a massive roach army. One day Caesar himself will bow before the roach king. Also this is amazing. Old World Blues actually made a border war UI so you don't have to use the broken vanilla system where some random general and divisions are chosen. This is how Border Wars should be in vanilla. If Old World Blues can do this, I'm sure Paradox can. Anyways, that is the end of the focus tree and the end for now. I really hope that someday they add to this focus tree. It's a really unique path. I love my roach divisions too. They're beautiful. Anyways though, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>